Yo, Passport, a.k.a. Big Baby, <laughs> what it do? We were sitting here talking about growth, and you said something very interesting. Do you mm -hmm. think you're done evolving, and what have you involved in, evolved into so far? I mean, every day is a new level. Like, I, I evolve every day. That's what I realized about myself. I can't just put myself in a box due to man-made ideologies and the pressures of the world just in the state of you know uh the the state that we living in as a as a race as humans it's just you got to survive and then you know as you learn and you go on in this shit you realize that you can't really be a angel amongst devils you know what i'm saying sometimes you do have to fight a Fight the devil with a demon, you know what I'm saying? Like, like with, like Wayne said, you know what I'm saying? So, like, by me evolving into what I thought was a positive uh, image of myself, being more responsible, but just being a man, a family man, and shit like that, it's like I got it mixed up with me being internally a savage and being, you know, because they say it's not on you, it's in you. So, what was in me, I was trying to suppress, you know what I'm saying? But just through evolution and constantly evolving every day, I realized that I am that I am. So, so is it like you were focusing on the physical instead of the invisible? Absolutely. That's that's what that was my biggest failure, and like I was able to reverse that and make it one of my greatest accomplishments by focusing on the invisible. That's my whole brand and movement right now on a positive perspective. I mean, it's completely still positive. It's completely still uplifting, motivating, but it's on a deeper level now. It's like I'm becoming more of a mastermind in everything that I do, and it's like people. <laughs> it's just my, it's this little, you know, it's a little chick, right? It's a little chick, and she kind of feel like because she know what I do, I'm always trying to sell myself. I'm always being slick. I'm not being truthful. Folks always do. I mean, but I guess I sell myself so well. See, I know that, but I'm not trying to. It's natural. That's my thing. She feels like I'm always being slick when I'm really being a honey. I'm actually being a thousand. She ain't used to know how bad you nigga, man. <laughs> I don't want to be categorized as, you know, I, I, I like that, but. You are what you are, brother. I, I, re I realized that, too, because, like, it's this. You know, like it's funny you said that the the trend right now with uh KS and his whole you know uh manosphere and everybody who you know what I'm saying involved and in tune with that. I was high value and didn't even know it. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit really like, I mean being a Memphis nigga, that's my that's an advantage for me. I don't know because like they and I ain't no pimp at all, yes, but I yeah. really nah. Yeah, man, <laughs> hey, check. Episode with him, unless you know he's a pimp. Right, hell nah. I don't claim to be nothing. And see, I know real peace. So I can never claim to be something that I'm not. I actually I had proof that I'm not a peace. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I learned from that though, and I, I, I stepped it up, but I ain't know what to do at first. You know what I'm saying? I know, what the, I know how to, you know what I'm saying? Maneuver this thing. I can put it together now, but I choose not to. That's not what I'm about. You know, I'm, like I said, we're going back to evolving. I got two daughters. You know, I apply, I apply my pressure when and if needed. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, man, I ain't in the way. But like I did with Tilly, you evolving. I realized, shit, I'm back in the way, though. Like, it ain't no more than staying out the way, shit, in the same breath. So I might sound like a liar. Or I might sound like I'm contradicting myself, but. I'm, I'm on each minute, each second. I'm on to something greater. You know what I'm saying? The energy I tapped into now is like it's got me feeling like it's a. I got a genie in a bottle, and my wishes that you know what I'm saying. My commands. So I, whatever I speak, it becomes true through my philosophy. Focus on the invisible, not the physical. I, I agree with that. Now, let me ask you: Do you think that? Us when we become when we go on our positive journey, I called it my hippie phase when I was in it, where I was just <laughs> love and peace and happiness to everybody. Yeah. Did you find that people took advantage of that shit? Man, absolutely, and still to this day, because like it's not only take my kindness for weakness. Like 
I mean, I know I'm on some nice, good guy shit, but that don't mean I still won't, you know what I'm saying, lash out. You know, it's shit that caused me to feel pressure and feel down, seeing niggas getting shot on TV by the police, all that type of shit. Money boy, money boy, money boy, trade. Money boy, money boy, money boy, money boy, trade. Private jet flights overseas.